Okay, uh, here's another update on my ball mill that I pretty much put together. I'm using these uh, ceramic cylinders that I got off of Pyro Creations. Um, I got 50 of them, so non-sparking. They're not as heavy as the lead, so it kind of makes it a little easier to use with the rubber band that I have. Pretty much like before, yeah, I'm just going to put this on the ball mill. Put the rubber band around like that. And on this one, I bought this off of Amazon. Uh, it runs off of uh, different power sources, but this one I have a 12 volt battery to it. And this one here has an on and off switch. And as you can see, it goes off of a percentage. So this is percentage of the motor spinning, 17% of the motor. So you go up and it increases the speed. So it's just pretty much for the speed. It has nothing to do with the voltage itself. So if I want to go to, let's say I want to go to 50% speed just to kind of get the ball mill rolling at, let's say 98 revolutions per minute. I just go up to 50 and I'll show what that looks like. Or actually let's go to 40. I don't want to go too fast. As you can see, it changes the speed of the motor so I can get that perfect ball milled black powder, uh, depending on how fast I want to go, how slow I want to go. Like I said, this thing's off of Amazon. Um, it just has the voltage going in, voltage going out, and then this just kind of takes care of the speed of the motor or the power output. And um, that's pretty much it. This little ball mill was not very hard to make, and I just pretty much made it with the drill motor. This is from the Harbor Freight ball mill, and then just a couple of little coasters or whatever these things are called, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to try to ball mill some black powder and see how well that comes out. Anyways, thank you for watching.